Hey, I just got 25 more copies of my book. It's called Guitar Chords by Brooke Hoover. I think it's 46 pages last time I checked. Yes, it's got a lot of photographs. But mostly it's all hand-drawn chords. Like here's the D-flat page. Those are all D-flats. And the, it's got a D-flat scale, a G-flat page, G-flat scale. It's got like the circle of fourths and fifths. It's got a few chord progressions in there. There's the A minor page. I just drew as many as I felt I wanted to, you know. Here's a bunch of A chords and D chords. I could have probably drawn a lot more, but that's about as many as you can fit on a page. So anyway, it's Guitar Chords by Brooke Hoover. And I'm going to actually have some new chords I'm going to run us through. This is uh, exercise number three on a page I created called Chord Jams. This goes A, E, D, A. A, E, D, A. A, E, D, A. Sounds kind of nice. Let me get rid of the delay sound. A, E, D, A. Of course, I'm kind of strict with my metronome. Let's see what we're at for metronome. Let's go a little faster, like 85. Oh, that's a little slow. Let's go to 101, like A, 2, That's a good strum pattern if you go down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. So, this guitar I have not tuned in quite a few days, and it just seems to be staying in tune fairly well. I mean, it's pretty close. The reason the chords are sounding one other, well, that's just unexplainable, but one thing that's happening here is I'm not pressing very hard with my left hand. I'm pretty light with this hand, and also strumming pretty light. I don't even want to... Okay, I'll show you what it's like if you press too hard with your fret, your uh, fretting hand. Okay, now I'll lighten up. So, yeah, it sounds more in tune when you don't crush it too hard. Also, don't hit your strings. Try to keep that strumming hand really loose. But don't lose your pick, and uh, just let gravity kind of let your hand drop, and then bring it up, just like you're just brushing it softly. You can always dig in and hit it harder. I say that a lot. You know, if you want to punch it harder, you can hit it harder. But for our purposes, 
I'm trying to get you guys to lighten up a little bit and you'll be a little more in tune and consistent you know if you're recording or something you don't want it to sound all stabby and jagged you want to like sit in with the other parts nicely and uh, you know it's just good to be able to pull it back you can always hit it harder so that's A E D A from Chord Jams and if you like that I can send you the paper I will I'll mail it to you and uh, just let me know but if you want to buy that book actually I could include it on the book if you want it maybe I should just insert it if anybody buys that book I'll insert a uh, this new page of chord jams alright thanks a lot I'll see you soon keep jamming